good youtube it's your boy fresh cuz back at it again waste no more time you already know what it is and before i do all that let me show you guys the receipt and everything just to let you know it's no fakes you know people still question it to this day just got it today so just check that out for yourself you know what i'm saying it comes to 890 dollars all right now let's open this bad boy up inside here Got the Makaj puffer jacket. Just to remind you guys, I'm six foot, 160 pounds. Six foot, 160 pounds, because I know a lot of people gonna ask me. This is a size 42, which is a medium. This is the Makaj Kent. I removed the white thing off of the zipper. And on the drawstrings, it has this little piece of paper to protect this, uh, I believe it to be sterling silver finish. It says Makaj on there. Also have paper to protect the sterling silver finish on the zippers down below. The silver buttons. Nice quality, nice and soft material. You also have the Makaj logo badge on top of the hood. It's upside down. Look like plastic wrapped in a, this little leather part. On the zipper part, you have the leather finish, with the Makaj logo. And then inside the interior of the Makaj jacket, you have your silver finish on the inside drawstrings. Pretty good touch. You also have your tags. And this is located on the left side of your Makaj coat. Pretty much details to let you know how to wash your coat. And also located on the left side of your jacket, you have this pocket. Pretty good length. Have the blue tab to match the outside of the jacket, very nice. And on your right side, you have more so of a side pocket on the interior of the jacket, wrapped in blue. Decent size for like your wallet or anything else like a phone. You have the Makaj sign right there. My trio and the size medium is a 42. Also on the Kent, you can take these buttons off to remove the hood. Very nice touch. And also on the back, you have the Makaj leather badge with the silver button. There's also a leather patch right here to keep your drawstring in place. This Makaj badge is, you can take it off. And first I'm gonna try it with the hoodie on. I have a Nike Tech. One thing that I forgot to mention was the cuff rip right here, located on the wrist. Very nice touch. Gives it a very nice comfort layer. That's how it looks with the hood. Really, nigga? And right off the bat, guys, I can tell, like, this coat is not only that it's, it's warm, but it's more so for style. You know, I know you guys see the blue. A lot of people have the black and the navy blue, but this is a great colorway. They also have the brown one. The blue one is called Aqua, by the way. Something that you need to know when you buy this coat, your hands are extremely warm with this material. It's pretty much like a hand warmer. It's very warm. It's like... I think it's kind of warmer than the one Canada Goose has. The pockets just feel really well. I really like these pockets compared to the Montclair Ecrans that I have on my page. The pockets feel really better than the Montclair. Hey, right now, I'm going to zip the jacket all the way. This is how it looks with the hood. Then I'm going to fasten the guard. I really like the way this feel, the materials, not bad. Not bad for 890 compared to Montclair, which is $1,500. It might be more after this video, who knows? After I started wearing the coat, you guys, I I realized when you pull these down, it locks in like this. You know, 
I thought that was a really good touch. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys. When you pull the drawstrings, it kind of like closed in like a turtle shell. You know, I thought that was a very good touch. Yeah, guys, pretty much what you see is what you get with this jacket. No big surprises. You know, it's extremely warm, extremely soft material. Very nice. Um, it is 90% duck and 10% uh, feather for anybody that want to know the specifics, the specifics about this coat. Um, yeah, and the cuff ribs right here is my favorite touch about the jacket. Um, and also the hand warmers inside, you know, because it's not like Montclair, like certain Montclair coats, you know, they don't have the hand warmers inside. And that really do make a big difference when you're out in the cold. It's a dope coat overall, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's pretty much simple as you don't really see too many people wearing it like that. But I do think that they're going to have another wave of their own. And for those that that's like, man, Makaj ain't nothing but a fake Montclair. Listen. It is what it is, man, but pretty much with Montclair, you know, to each his own. I feel like Montclair is very overcrowded as a, compared to Makach, where they're pretty much almost in their own lane, if you tell me. Like, of course, they have the puffer jacket, but if you look at all these other brands, Canada Goose got puffer jackets now. I believe Moose Knuckles have puffer jackets right now. Puffer jackets is the thing right now, and um, Montclair, shout out to them. Um, I pretty much, I might have to do a, I might have to do like a comparison video with the Montclair Ekrans versus the Makaj in the Canada Goose versus Makaj versus Montclair versus Moose Knuckles video. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but if you guys really want me to, I'll break the whole thing down. I'll compare all four coats. Um, I do feel like this is compared to the Montclair the most, so. I think it'll be proper for me to do a Makaj versus a Montclair. I feel like this is pretty much Montclair, just a cheaper Montclair, if I'm just being honest with you guys. But it's still different to have in your, in your closet. I still feel like there's certain coats for certain days. So Montclair is like the flashy type. And Makaj, I feel like you can pretty much wear this without being too noticeable, but still let people know like, hey, you know, I still do this thing. I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still paid. I'm just warm today. You know, I don't feel like being flashy. I can't really complain about this coat at all. And like I said, it's like a cheaper version of Montclair. That's it. You know what I'm saying? The the truth is in the pudding. Like, that's it. That pretty much closes everything, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you have any questions on sizing or anything, you know, let me know. I'll give you guys what I recommend and you know, we can pretty much go back and forth how we feel about the Montclair versus the Makaj. We can be honest about things. Um, let me know. Thank you guys for your support. I'll see you in the next video. Stay warm.